band was kind of hazy early on. We never thought we were going to be a band. It, it wasn't just like, hey, you want to form a band? How about you're on drums? We didn't start playing music to be a band. It sounds kind of dumb, but did you ever think we were going to play a show? We had to force you into playing a show. I played guitar since I was nine. Never played a show, never played in front of people until I was 23, 24. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, my lips were blue. He just stared straight ahead and played perfect. And then when we're all done, Dave and I were so, we're like, that was great, that was really fun. Do it again, Mike? He's like, we're gonna do that again? Like, I was like, yeah, yeah. Didn't, wasn't that fun? I don't wanna, I don't, I don't wanna do it again. <laughs> I was a, yeah, at the time it was just a, a scary thing to do. It's so, it's so personal, you know? I'm making a Blind Shake tour poster. Definitely want to do something by hand, kind of collage -y. I think that's still kind of our aesthetic. And the first thing you see is, is the art. You know, before you even hear it, you're, you're looking at it. So you want to tell the story right away. I like when you can see the cut marks and shadows. It just seems a little bit more childlike and fun. I think sometimes it takes away from some of the seriousness of our band, just a little bit. Adds just another dimension to the, here we have shaved heads and black coats, but our flyer's pink. You know, I, I, I definitely like that, um, kind of crossing those aesthetics. 
we started designing little things on our coats because with just black, it just kind of blended in a little bit too much. So we would just start making little pieces or, hey, little you design designs little or, designs yeah. or just, just to break up. Yeah. There's really no true meaning behind it. And that's what's kind of fun is it seems yeah. like there is, yeah. but there's not. Is there so. any aspect of it that's like, this is, sh you know, shtick? I never want to call it shtick. I don't know. That seems kind of, I, the look is very intentional. I was always thinking about like the yeah. way we should look and what your amp looks like and what's on the drum, like ever since day one. The shaved head starts with genetics. I was going bald. So you just shave your head. But then it does have uh, a team camaraderie look to it. Dave, I still have a he, he could grow blonde hair, yep. flow in the wind and do yep. all those, join whatever kind of garage band is hip. But he shaves <laughs> his head to be a team player. And it's a functional haircut. It actually like, is. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, because you're saying something no matter what. You, you might think, well, I'm just, you know, gonna wear whatever, but you had to choose that. At some point you bought that. So some bands that have maybe an attitude, I don't care. Well, it's funny how you all don't care and you're all wearing flannel. That's amazing. Maybe that works, but, <laughs> but what I'm saying is it's intentional. It doesn't have to be, but for us, let's think of every single aspect of, of what we do. got it. I record us and, and mix us and play the baritone, usually at the same time. You know, play a little bit and check the levels, go in the hallway, see if everything sounds good. Okay. One more of the whole thing. The whole song. When you record straight on the tape, I feel you get 
more natural compression. I, there's something about it sounds better on the ears. Also seems to be a lot more happy accidents that kind of happen yeah. on the tape of something's maybe really way too loud, but it just sounds awesome where it kind of like busts it out, blows it out a little bit, and that's just kind of the sound. <laughs> yeah. Okay. You keep that demo and then yeah, it. seems a little bit more forgiving to record on tape. When you play back, it sounds a little bit more removed from what you just did. Sometimes the digital sounds really perfect and you really get in your head about analyzing stuff, but this seems a little bit more like looking at a, a Polaroid picture of yourself rather than a perfect digital. It's who wants to look at themselves like that, you know? We love you, we love you. So when someone meets you, they've never heard your music. Oh, you're in a band. What kind of music do you play? What do you, what do you say? Psychedelic noise. Rock and roll. We're noise, psych, yeah. surf. Well, it's a blues scale with Spanish bass, punk, garage. But it is blues based, I feel, still at the end of the day. Like when we don't know what to do, we just will go just back to a stomp beat of like a, just yeah. what would your foot do if you were just playing this? Now we can build up from there. Yeah. No, no band likes to describe their sound. In bands, they're like, oh, we fit in this genre immediately. Their band is probably terrible because they're trying to fit in. They're not trying to revolutionize anything or, or just be original. And they're not pulling from other resources. I think we've kind of always been a fan of surf music of some kind. You know, uh, it's fun to play. I think it just comes naturally for us. We're not trying to yeah. be like a retro surf band. We don't have moves, you know, like yeah. surf band moves or anything. But Minnesota has always had the best surf bands. Well, the Trashmen. I went everybody's head about the bird. The bird, bird, bird. The bird's a winner when the bird, bird, bird. The bird is a winner. Minnesota might have the best surfers. It's just that you don't we have just the don't. ocean. There it is. So there it's it not is. fair. The minor chord progression, but still in a positive song. You know, I, I think our songs do have a, this kind of catchy, positive part in them. And surf has that same. Yeah. And we definitely come at surf from our angle. Well, not like, okay, we need to change the amp setup and be this whole, 
other band. It just, just happens naturally. Yeah, it's definitely amateur surf. Like it's amateur you're about surf. to at any moment wipe out and get eaten by a shark. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Thank you so much. Well, you guys are in your 30s now, but is there some of like the anger that maybe you feel when you're a boy of 15 that is still coming through? I, I don't know. I wouldn't really I consider wouldn't... us ever being like angry. Yeah, you wouldn't call a shark angry. You know what I mean? He's out there chomping people up, but we're not doing that. So it just looks angry. It does because because you usually don't smile when you're intense because that's even more insane and we're not that insane, you know. But that gets back to kind of that surrealistic part where if you look at us at first glance, you might think shaved heads and angry. It's like, yeah. please, like that's so... That's lame. So anger. surface and so anger. dumb. Yeah. Just come in just a little closer and you can see a lot of humor, a kind of weird movements and mm -hmm. ideas. And well, sometimes we like write lyrics Mike and I will sit down and start writing them, and it's like a, when we kind of make each other laugh, or that's so you're kind of creeping yeah. me out a little bit, not in a, in a kind of a, not a vulgar way, not like, a vulgar way, bunch of maggots, like that's no, stupid, right? but like but, what about this man that can only look forward, and he's just t totally going through his life, and he can only look at you this way. You're just like, ah, yeah. it's just a little bit off, and it's just like that's kind of I think lyrically and. And sometimes musically that we kind of sit.
Thank you so much. Well, we couldn't get a show in Minneapolis in our early days, so we started booking tours. So I think that got us tight as a band and, and definitely and fearless in terms of whether no one's there. Every every yeah. night was a fight to just even get to a place, you know. And yeah. then you still had to play a show, or you would drive all day to get to some, you know, VFW and play to like four people. You know, yeah, it, it's hard. My only focus at the show is how it sounds, not whether there's people there or anything. But sometimes it's packed, sometimes it's not. Yeah. We don't know. I pretty much always assume no one's gonna be at the show. I just eh, wow, you know, people yeah. showed up. Oh, and then yeah, and then people do show yeah. up, and you're just like, oh yeah. wow, that's weird. And I remember <laughs> 27 of your aunts and uncles showing up your shows. Yes, yeah, and pretty, they're super yeah. supportive. Our family yeah. is cool like that. Yeah, I think some people are like, yeah, it's kind of weird. My family's there, I'm like. It's weird that people love you. Maybe it is weird that people love you. If that's your thing, is like, you know, you can't accept love. Well, then maybe yeah. maybe it isn't for you. But for us, we enjoy the love of our family, and they come see us. Yeah. Thank you. You know, if somebody's there, because there's a lot of floor tiles in Fargo that were entertained by us, but there's real no connection. You know what right. I mean? There was that one time in Florida we just had the yeah. worst show, and we pulled into our hotel where we were gonna stay, and. No one looked at each other or talked, which seemed like. Yeah, we're still in the car, in the parking lot of this, the hotel we're staying at. And we just sat there for probably 30 minutes, like didn't just say staring. a word to each other. Just All kinda, just, like, just staring, evaluating. What are we doing? We're thousands of miles from home and. Yeah. And that was one of those moments where like, gentlemen, if you want off the train, here it yep. is. And one of us broke the silence. It was like, shall we go in? Yep, and we all just grabbed our bags and we like, stayed on the train. Yeah, and the next show was great. And the next it show was, was fantastic. Yeah. It was great. Yeah. Check one, check, check, check. Hey, hey, hey. hey. Slowly, we saw like success. Not success necessarily. That's not the, the correct word, but uh, just Summers something. There was a, every show, every time we played live, there was a gain of some sort, and I think that kind of kept us going too. You know, it keeps you a junkie. Yeah. It, it is the casino kind of thing. Yeah. So many failures, and then there's that one success, and you're like, all right. Just but the fact that we just kept doing it just proves that it's what we wanted to do, or what we were meant to do, or. That's natural. The main thing is we just show up consistently.
Let's have a good day. Indeed Brewing Company. We make the beer, you make the most of it. This program is made possible by the state's Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund and the citizens of Minnesota.